Alright guys, our 26th iPhone development tutorial and the only things we have left to do is pretty much change the blue views so it's pretty much work with the interface files adding the colored backgrounds. So go ahead and click blue v window, excuse me, that XIB and this is of course going to open up interface builder. Pretty cool. So now what we want to do is this file's owner, it doesn't exactly know which class is supposed to be changing this view. So go ahead and click files owner and its identity under class, you see the default is NS object. We want to say, all right, you are in charge of controlling the blue class or what I mean, the blue class is in charge of controlling you. So make sure you do that and now we can go ahead and begin working with the interface itself. So go ahead and click view and in the attributes right here, go ahead and change the background to a nice blue view. Looks pretty good. Actually, let's change it to this. That's a little lighter. I like that one a little better. So make sure you change it to the light blue or else your program's gonna blow up. Now in your attributes inspector right here, you see simulated interface elements and this can simulate um, interface elements if you couldn't tell by the title so remember in our program we have that bar at the bottom and it's a toolbar so in order to simulate this in our view go ahead in your attributes, attributes inspector simulated elements bottom bar go ahead and select toolbar now look what happens in our view this little blank toolbar pops up and it simulates a toolbar on the screen pretty cool so this actually isn't going to uh, show up on our view. It's just going to simulate what a toolbar would be. So, I mean, that's kind of what we want. So, the only thing we have left to do is the class. Well, pretty much do this. I'll show you guys, and then I'll talk you guys through. In your file owner icon, go ahead and control and drag over to your view icon, and go ahead and click view. Now, why did I do that? So this class needs to be able to access that view and we didn't set everything up by default remember we made all our classes so that is how you get this class to be able to access its view I know it's weird that you have to do that but I mean you just need to do that so now what we need to do is go ahead file save and interface builder quit interface builder and we need to do the exact same thing for the red one so if you we, uh, were wondering how to do all that maybe you missed something here's what you do file owner over in identity this one is going to change the red class I really have to scroll down and find it this is bull spit I said spit guys take it easy and what did I even name it red it's pro element red class there we go it only took me half an hour to find it so the red class now controls this view so after that go ahead click view and in your attributes go ahead and change the background to a nice red this is the red class we're working with isn't it and of course add that simulated toolbar at the bottom toolbar pops up right there and now control drag from your files owner to view and select view as the outlets and now this class can change the view or access the view so go ahead file save interface builder quit interface builder and now here is our big moment let's build and run this see if I got any error see if it works Build and run alright looking good so far <sighs> awesome oh my god it works switch views and again this isn't just changing the background this is actually changing the views of your application so how awesome is that congratulations guys you finally built a program that has multiple views it only took like 10 tutorials but uh yeah we did it I am extremely proud of myself I did that whole thing without getting any errors so if you want to leave me a congratulatory message uh, and saying how awesome I am do so in the comments below because you know I'm super happy right now about this program we just created so yeah thank you guys for watching if you have any questions I know this can be confusing but we're going to be building a lot of multi-view applications from now on, so it'll naturally clear up as we go on. So uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment in my forum, link below, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. And uh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.